my home church is, is The Crossing. And uh, they supported, gave us a substantial check a number of years ago to our ministry and they held on to it and they said, you will attend the GLS this year, right, Robert? As I'm trying to pull the check out of their hands, I said, yes, I'll be there. And I was, I was rocked. I was rocked by the quality of the speakers. I, I was, I, I'm a front row sitter and I was there and I was in tears for two days. And people from my church would come and say, are you okay? Are you being convicted? And that wasn't the case at all. But so much of what I heard was resonating in my heart for what I'm, what I'm going through and, and, and the stuff. And, and I knew I was on the right road. Bill's thing is, you know, the, the, the hope of the world is a church when it's working right. You know, so much of what we experience in, in, in Southeast Asia is the, the church is inwardly focused, especially in Vietnam because of the persecution. You know, in, in, in learning that, you know, uh, one of the most meaningful messages that will forever ring in my mind is Stephen Furtick, where he talked about digging ditches. I don't like dirt. I hate dirt. I'm thinking, picturing hot and dusty and dirt in every, you know, part of my eyes and everything. You know, and knowing that the water was covered. And, and that resonated and it keeps me going through the tougher times. I think the Global Leadership Summit is such a valuable tool that I, I really believe that it's going to be one of the tools that we're going to use to change the nation of Vietnam. I believe that it, it has value content that, can, that is good for the government. And they're seeking leadership tools. They're just not quite ready to make some of the commitments they need to do. But the GLS has a way of presenting material that is still palatable by even those who are not believers yet. I remember sitting in and having somebody say the difference, that there's a difference between a manager and a leader. I thought it was just people coming together and let's just work towards a common goal. And then I found out that there's such a thing called leadership. You know, and, and, and I learned that I could learn leadership skills. And, and I want to encourage people to get hungry for leadership. You know, devour it, pray. You say, God, help me to be hungry for this, because I know whatever I'm interested in, I obsess on. You know, and leadership is something that has helped me unbelievably.